Hello and welcome to another flashcards video. Uh, this will be a quick one today. Just wanted to show you the classroom objects flashcards. Okay, so you'll see that there are a lot of flashcards here, and these are good for teaching stuff like prepositions, or where is the, or my something or other something like that. Okay, so usually for older children. Uh, probably from the age of four to six year, years old, I say, from four to six years old. So obviously you shouldn't introduce all of these because it's way, way, way too many. So think what you're going to do, okay? Maybe you're going to make a story. Let's do, I'm, I'm going to do this on the fly so you can see how I'm thinking. So school bus, I'll say, okay, come in the morning and then have a drink and sit down on my chair, open my book, and then use my pen, okay? So if these are older children, five cards is probably a good place to start. Um, if the names are very difficult or you find that children are having difficulty remembering, get rid of two of them and just concentrate on three, okay? So here is an example, okay? Uh, you could do, it's a school bus, okay? It's a school bus, it's a water bottle, it's a chair, it's a book, it's a pen. Then you can flip these over, print another set out and play a matching game. Now a different structure might be prepositions. So you might be teaching on a chair, okay? Or on my chair, okay? A book is on, the chair. A pen is on the chair. A school bus is on a chair. And, and obviously everybody's going to laugh because you can't put a school bus on a chair. And my water bottle is on a chair. Okay. So let's say it. Can you say it this time? Okay. So we say a water bottle is on a chair. Okay, the school bus is on a chair. Now, I should stop here and say on the website, you can download these with the article in front of the word. So our school bus, our water bottle, our chair. If they're more suited to what you're teaching, please download and use those. And I think you get the idea by now of what I'm trying to show you. Uh, so very, very versatile cards. I'm just going to lay these out now. I might actually do a little time lapse to show you all of them. Okay. Uh, one thing to watch out for is the, uh, how do you call it, non countable, so glue. So glue is always glue and never glues and stuff like that. So be careful. These are plural, these color pencils, and also crayons and also scissors okay so just be aware that these cards might not fit into your sentence pattern uh, and you might want to take them out or put them at the end also things that you're never ever going to use in your class so maybe a microscope just take that out too you don't have to use all of the cards i just wanted to give teachers the most options possible and you'll see that i even put cards in like computer, laptop and tablet that are more relevant to today's classroom rather than CD player, which a lot of people probably don't even use anymore. Um, going back to the chair, so you can teach on the chair, under the chair, by the chair, okay, so in, on, under, by. So it would go like this, okay, so you, you'd say, okay, everyone hands out. Let me just clean this up a second. Okay, so your hands out, okay, and you say in, on, under, by, okay, in, on, under, by, okay. So you can change it how you want, but it's a chant, okay, so you teach your children, ready? In, on, under, by, in, on, under, by, and you go faster and faster and faster, you warm them up with that. 
and then you say, you know, you might not do a sentence uh, first. You might just do, ask them to say, is, is it in, on, under, by? Choose an easy word that they might know, which is pen. It's a very easy word. So you might say, okay, this is on. It's on the chair. In, on, under, by. Hmm. What about this? In, Sorry, in, on, under, oh, it's under, by, okay? So you practice like that, and then uh, you can practice with your prepositions, okay? So feel free, go to the website, download these. There's also a very, very big poster, which you can uh, print out, which has all of these on too. So after you've taught this in class, Put it on a poster, put it on the wall so that kids can see it and revisit it. Another thing that I like to do too is print out these sort of wallet pouches. So you'll see here, this is the poster for these. And I print these out, I cut them, and at the end of the month, anything that we've learned, I would send home to the children with a, a ring binder and then add to their, to their ring each month. And what happens is they go home and then the parents say, what did you learn today? And instead of saying nothing, uh, the parents remember that they have this in their bag. So they might say, did uh, your teacher not give you, you know, your new poster? And then they'll pull it out and, you know, they'll be able to say some of the words, hopefully. So that's just my sort of uh, two cents. You don't need to teach. That sentence pattern with these cards you can teach them however you want uh, that's everything please leave comments if these help you or if you have any ideas for the future and yeah that's it well